In most countries of the world, vitamin K injection is given to newborns very shortly after birth. The reason for this is prevent vitamin K deficiency bleeding. To prevent the vitamin K deficiency bleeding, single dose, usually 0.5 milligram to 1 milligram dose of vitamin K is administered intramuscularly to all newborns to prevent vitamin K deficiency bleeding. And this is given shortly, very immediately after birth. And this is being followed in most countries of the world. To understand the importance of administering this injection, one needs to first understand why this deficiency occurs in newborns and how the deficiency affects them leading to bleeding. Now let's see why vitamin K deficiency occurs in newborns. Now the two main sources from which we obtain vitamin K are the food we eat. So if the food contains vitamin K, then our body absorbs vitamin K through the food source. And the second way in which we produce vitamin K is the bacterial flora. The bacterial flora in the gut, mainly the large intestine, helps synthesize vitamin K. In a newborn, mainly after birth, both of these sources are defective. So the food source for a baby, at least until six months of life, is mother's milk. This is the main and only food source for babies until the six month of life. And the mother's milk is low in vitamin K. So as the food source itself is low in vitamin K, the baby is not able to absorb enough vitamin K from the food. And the second source, which is the bacterial flora in the gut, is also deficient in a newborn soon after birth. So soon after birth, there is not enough bacterial flora in the gut. So it's not able to synthesize vitamin K. Due to these factors, vitamin K deficiency occurs in newborn. Now, how does this deficiency of vitamin K lead to bleeding? So, normally in health, when there is no injury, bleeding doesn't occur in our body because of certain clotting mechanisms that are in place. And when there is injury, there is not much excessive bleeding the bleed like after a while the bleeding is controlled because of the presence of normal clotting mechanisms that occur in our body there are various proteins and clotting factors that help in this process of clotting and four of these clotting factors mainly factor 2 7 9 and 10 are dependent on vitamin K. Now, why are they dependent on vitamin K? It's because vitamin K acts as a cofactor for the enzyme that catalyzes the conversion of glutamic acid residues to gamma carboxy glutamic acid residues. And this Process that is the conversion of glutamic acid residues to gamma carboxy glutamic acid residues is known as gamma carboxylation, and that process is essential before these clotting factors are released into the circulation. So, these clotting factors require gamma carboxylation of the glutamic acid residues before they can be released into the circulation and help in the process of clotting. Now, when that doesn't occur, it can lead to deficiency of clotting factors 
leading to bleeding. Now, I hope that highlights to you the need for administering vitamin K to all newborns immediately after birth to prevent vitamin K deficiency bleeding. If you like the video, please share and subscribe. And if you have any question in mind or any topics that you want me to cover, please let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you with those topics. Until then, happy learning. See you in the next video.